Hi, Patrice here. <laughs> I always say that. Anyway, so um, I was I was actually about to I fi just finished cooking dinner for my family and I was about to do something else. And I saw my journal right here. This um, love you to the moon and back. This is my remothering journal. So I'm like doing inner child type of work in this journal and writing to my to myself at all the different stages from like infancy, childhood, adolescence, you know, teen, adult, you know, and up till now I'm like talking to myself and my aim and goal is to love myself and um, learn to treat myself with the same care that I extend to others because I haven't um, been doing that. And it's um, it's weird. So anyway, um, it's just a part of the whole, um, codependence. So, um, I, anyway, I just finished cooking dinner and I heard, I saw this notebook and I heard the Lord say, you have something else in there that you should share. And I was like, what? No, I don't. <laughs> Cause listen, every time, almost every time the Lord tells me to do something, I'd be like, what? No, or I'm like crazy. Anyway, I don't know why he'll just zap me. So um, I looked through the notebook because I haven't written very much in it to begin with. And half of it I don't even like, but I see what he wants me to share. So I'm going to do it. I always do what he tell me to do anyway, even though at first I'm like, what? Mm -mm, I don't need to do that. So <laughs> um, as I read this, what I might do is is um stop myself to explain a few things so anyway i'll start so i wrote this in february it says it just dawned on me that while family is saying um that i need to forgive her i have again left you out of the equation patrice I believe for our situation, first and foremost, I need to forgive you. Not so much baby, toddler, child, or teen Patrice, but adult Patrice. Actually, I forgive all stages. I forgive you for not speaking up. And so I'll stop here. So um, there are a lot of times that things were said or done that were just wrong and I knew it in my gut and I said nothing. I said nothing at all. Now I'm not talking about as a child. It definitely happened as a child, but I'm talking about as an adult. Um, I just didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. And this is if it was towards me or someone else, I didn't speak up. And so I'm telling myself that I need to forgive myself for that because I have, um, had, um, really just felt awful for that. Um, I forgive you for not protecting us, but always protecting her and others. And what I mean by that, obviously, um, protecting her by not speaking up, but, um, protecting, um, others is because when you, when you speak up, you upset the, the whole apple cart, you upset a lot. It's there's a ripple effect. And um I'm it's like I'm I'm really sorry for upsetting the apple cart. And I have to do what I have to do. So um yeah. Anyway, um I forgive you for the fawn flight tendon. No, fawn fight, not flight tendency. Um, that tendency is what I have. I like to make sure everybody is okay. And I will try to. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you a quick story. Um, showing maybe two. Um, one time a girl was messing with my sweater. I had on a sweater that had embroidered like flowers on it. And I love this sweater. I'm sitting up on the stoop. All of our friends are around us. We're all playing. She comes over and she's pulling at it. And I was like, stop, stop pulling on my sweater. And I'm literally whispering to her to stop. 
um, because I don't want to make a scene. I don't want it to be, you know, you always had those people that are around that are that want to instigate a fight. And I didn't want any of that. So I'm like, look, stop, just stop. Let's leave me alone. She kept pulling that in talking about because I was always real small. I mean, even now I'm four foot ten. So um, she's like, um, you ain't going to do nothing, you know, that kind of stuff. And I was like, listen, I'm going to tell you one more time. Don't don't do it again. And <laughs> anybody that knows me knows that's just how I roll. I don't argue. I don't get into no big you know, talking battles, I'll tell you one time and that's it. And so she, um, did it again. And next thing I know, I completely blacked out. And then, like I said, the next thing I knew, um, boys were pulling us apart and I had her hair in my hands and she did not have a weave. So, um, that was one story. Then there was another where a boy, he, boys, sometimes do dumb things when they like you <laughs> he was throwing these like dirt clumps at me that would like break apart when you're um when you you know when it hit and all he's throwing these things at me and I'm like first of all why is he doing this to me then second of all my mother is very into my appearance being just so and how am I going to explain this dirt all over my clothes you know my mother my mother like made it look really like you know she made me look really good like as far as like you know to the outside world and um and how she dressed me and so I'm like oh my god I'm gonna get in trouble and this boy is throwing rocks at me and he's gonna think that he can keep doing this and all the other people around gonna see him doing this they're gonna think they can do it too oh my god and so I was like stop throwing these rocks at me but I'm whispering and um, because again, I don't want the instigators. And then he did it again. And I said, listen, you got one more time to throw another rock at me. And um, he did it again. I jumped off and I punched him and I only hit this boy two times. He fell back legs in the air, got up crying and jumped the fence. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? But anyway, um, so that's what I was referring. That's a couple of the instances with me with the fawn fight, you know, kind of tendency. It's like I'll try to do what I can to make sure everybody's OK. But if I feel backed up against the wall, I'm coming out swinging and I do know how to fight. I did take karate and my father actually did teach me how to box, too. But anyway, um, so I said I forgive you for scarring and beating up others when you were angry with her. So um, just about every one of my fights, I would just kind of black out, have this like blind rage kind of thing where I don't know. It was like I left and my body was just going for it. And um, I did a lot of um, damage um, to some people. Some people have um, like scars on their faces today because of me and um so uh I have one such um fight that I feel like the adults around like really failed because um they did nothing with this situation I had it was an after school off school grounds kind of fight between two of my friends one was a newer friend and one was a long time friend they were fighting for I don't know what, but um, the new friend got a good hit in on the older friend. And before I knew it, I was fighting her. And um, I tried to dig a hole in that girl's face and I did a good job, unfortunately. And after the fight was over, when I came to, because I would always like black out when I came to. I went and I apologized to her family and and her. And the next day at school, though, all of the teachers were like, oh, my God, like what happened to her face? And she's like, Patrice did it. And they're like, what? Because I was otherwise a sweet girl, you know, and um, I ended up getting suspended for 10 days for that. And um, all my mother had to say was that it was, you know, off school grounds and it was um, none of their business. And it's just a scratch. It wasn't just a scratch. 
you don't get suspended for 10 days for just a scratch, you know? And I feel like the adults in this situation should have done something like to understand like something is going on with this child because she's otherwise, you know, one way. And now we're seeing this, where is this coming from? You know, but nobody did anything. So, um, I forgive you for the lack of self love and care. I forgive you for continuing to deny and ignore her abusive behavior into adulthood. I forgive you for continuing negative behavioral patterns and traits up until today. It all ends now. I am here for you. I see more clearly now and will take care of you. All habit, all the habits you picked up during childhood protected you then, but you don't need these habits now. You are free, Patrice. Patrice. <laughs> you you are free to feel every emotion, experience them, process them, sit with them and let them go. You are important and not because of what you do. You are not a human doing. You are a human being. You are important because you are because you are here. You are free now to be you fully. You have always been accepted wholly by the one who matters most. Revel in that and live, thrive, be. So that is um, the journal entry that I feel God wanted me to share with you. So um, that's it for this video. I thank you for watching. If you like this and you want to see more, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do more videos. And that's it. Bye.